Did you know history is not just about battles and treaties, but also about tales so spicy they'd make a ghost pepper cry? Buckle up, because we're diving into the scandalous underbelly of the past, where propriety takes a backseat to outrageousness. Let's start with the ancient Egyptians, who were ahead of their time in many ways, especially in personal grooming. Pharaohs and commoners alike were obsessed with avoiding body lice, so they did the most logical thing, shaved off every hair on their bodies and wore wigs instead. Imagine the scene at the royal court, a place buzzing with bald, wig-topped trendsetters, proving that sometimes to be cool, you literally have to keep your cool under the scorching Egyptian sun. Next up, the pirate Blackbeard, who was more than just an unruly beard and a fearsome name. Before battle, he would thread slow-burning fuses into his beard and light them, creating a terrifying, smoky visage that convinced many a victim that they were facing the devil himself. It's one thing to scare someone with a sword, but quite another to do it with facial hair on fire. Talk about a hot-headed approach to piracy. And then there's the infamous dinner parties of Roman Emperor Elagabalus, known not just for their extravagance, but for their bizarre entertainment. Picture this, guests seated on pillows stuffed with live birds. The surprise, and likely the chaos when those birds decided to escape, must have been the ancient equivalent of a flash mob, proving that Elagabalus was the original party animal with a literal twist. But wait, there's more. In medieval Europe, the trial by ordeal was a legal process that was, frankly, bonkers. Accused of a crime? Prove your innocence by holding a red-hot iron or retrieving a stone from a boiling cauldron. If you were unharmed, you were innocent. If not, well, better luck in your next life. It's the kind of legal system that makes you grateful for boring old jury duty. 